to measure with app weight bearing whole x-ray of the entire limb is needed. A circular coin of known dimension object have to be placed adjacent patient's body before and included in patient's x-ray. The radius of the circle is dynamically changed whenever user's finger is moved over screen. Once best fit of the radius of dynamic cycle over the contour of the calibration object is reached user should press the point button and circle with the respective radius point is drawn over image. For a 23 mm circular object appear, a 23 value is added to unit box. Next with the transparent circular template user aims to locate the center of the femoral head. By fitting the best fit circle to the contour of femoral head circumference and clicking the point button the center of the femoral head is marked P1. By the same manner the medial side of the tip of the femoral great trochanter is marked P2. Likewise by aiming the intramedullary femur canal the center of intramedullary femoral canal P3. In case the right limp is measured the user should select the following anatomical points sequentially in certain clockwise fashion starting from the most distal and lateral point of lateral femur condyle, B4, to most medial and distal point of medial femur condyle, B5, to the most medial and proximal tibia point, P6, to most lateral and proximal tibia point, P7. By the same manner for distal right tibia, the most lateral distal point of tibia at ankle joint, P8 to most medial distal point, P9. In case left limp is measured, the above pattern should be followed likewise, but the points should be selected in counterclockwise fashion. By pressing plus or button the blue line with center the femoral head is rotated clockwise or counterclockwise intersecting the tibial plateau at Fujisawa point F while the respective percentage appears over the button. By this way the planned mechanical axis can be changed in real time by aiming with circular centered pointer below mid joint line at the preferred side of tibia, high tibial osteotomy HTO and by pressing the point button user can define the hinge point of osteotomy H at tibia. The angle formed by red lines connecting the hinge point H with the current center of ankle and the intersection of the projected Fujisawa line, blue line to projected horizontal line of the center of ankle is the angle of correction A. By aiming at the preferred side across the H point over the other side of the bone with the circular centered pointer and by pressing the point button, the surgeon selects the entry point starting the opening or closing wedge osteotomy. From point H to point D, the medial lateral diameter, the opening or closing of the osteotomy is printed HD in mm and marked by a red line, which represents one plane of the triangular wedge of the osteotomy. The plus or button appear at the left bottom corner of the screen. Over the button the degrees of correction also appear. Default value is 0 degrees. For every click by pressing plus or button, 1 degree of correction is added or subtracted respectively and the second plane of osteotomy emerges and printed in screen as second red line HD from H point to point D. All previous measured values and location of drawn lines are being updated in real time accordingly till the orange line mechanical axis attached the corrected mechanical axis passing at Fujisawa point. The age point represents the hinge point of osteotomy and the tip of the wedge triangle. The planes of the osteotomy HD and HD form the angle which is the actual correction angle of the wedge. The base of the triangle, DB. The lateral cortex corresponds to the height of the wedge. By pressing the plus or button, with center the hinge point either clockwise or counterclockwise, the corresponding height, DD, of opening or closing osteotomy is increased or reduced respectively. Both proximal tibial head osteotomies, HDO equals high tibial osteotomy and supracondylar femoral osteotomies, DFO equals distal femur osteotomy can be performed in additive technique, open wedge or subtractive technique.
closed wedge and can be planned. This powerful features allow surgeon in an instant to comprehend in real time by updating simultaneously all relevant parameters by changing the correction angle and thus helping to differentiate between a femoral and or tibial cause of deformity and avoiding osteotomies that could worse joint obliquity. By pressing the undo button user can easily return to previous stage and modify the selection of points or change the above mentioned parameter respectively.